Hi, welcome to Home Tech Solutions. So in this course, we will be discussing and understanding the IDOC functionality in SAP. So what is an IDOC? An IDOC is a functionality in SAP, which is used by the SAP to send information from SAP, which is an ERP system, to another ERP system, which could be an SAP or a non-SAP. So consider IDOC as a container, as a box. And in this box, you can put any information, any data, and SP will send this box to uh, another SAP system or could be a non-SAP or ERP system. So this is the functionality. Here is a, a diagram or an image which shows like you have a SAP client or system one, and then uh, this system wants to send information to another SAP client, which is system two. So you will use an IDOC to send the information. IDOC is a box or a, uh, yeah, it's a box, it's a container, which will contain all the information. This information could be master data, like customer data, uh, vendor data, transactional data. And this is generally sent through a middleware, which you can consider as a postman. Here it is, I'm calling it SAP ALE services. The middleware in this could be a SAP PI services, SAP MuleSoft, uh, no, sorry, SAP PI services or MuleSoft or any other integration uh, application or software. Now, the course structure. So in this course, so this is something about the IDOC. So in this course, we will be understanding, looking at what, an, what is an IDOC in SAP. Then we will understand the anatomy of an IDOC. Now, SP sends an IDOC, which is called outbound IDOC. Similarly, it receives the information through an inbound IDOC. So we will be looking at both outbound IDOC and inbound IDOC. Then we will look at the contents of inbound IDOC and outbound IDOCs. Now comes the configuration part and development part. So here we will uh, go through various steps which are required to set up IDOC in SAP system. Some of the key steps will be like setting up a logical system, setting up RFC destination, maintaining ports, creating a partner profile in SAP, creating a distribution model, uh, setting up IDOC segment filtering, change pointer, message types, etc. Another important aspect is once you are done with your configuration, you have to test your configuration. You have to test the IDOC, which is also called message type in SAP that you have set up in SAP. So we will do the testing of both outbound IDOCs and inbound IDOC. Finally, we will be looking at uh, the SAP support process related to IDOC, like IDOC monitoring. If there is an error in IDOC, like it has failed to post in SAP, then how do you reprocess it? How do you fix the error and so on? And I will also list the key transaction codes, uh, which are increased transaction codes, which are required for IDOC handling in SAP and will share some uh, configuration and testing documents around SAP. So that is the overall course structure. Thank you and look forward uh, to join the course.